Good morning students. A very warm welcome to you all. In a previous video, I have started the topic, the last lesson written by Alphonse Daudet. We have discussed about the author. I have given the introduction as well as the main points of the topic. Today, we will learn the lesson in detail. So, let's begin. I was very late that morning and I was afraid of being scolded, especially by Mr. Hamill, had told us that he should examine us on participles and I did not know the first thing about them. For a moment, I thought of staying away from school and wandering about the fields. It was such a warm, lovely day. Monsieur means it is a French word for Mister. Okay. The narrator of the story is a young school boy named Franz. That morning, he was scared as he was late for school. Also, as the teacher Mr. Hamill had announced the previous day that he would test them on the topic of participles. And Franz did not know anything at all. He was more scared of being scolded. Next paragraph. As I passed the mayor's office, I saw there were people gathered about the board on which notices were posted. For two years, all our bad news had come from that board. Battles lost, conscription orders from headquarters, and I thought without stopping, what can it be now? Conscription means? Let us try to write the meaning. Compulsory enrollment of people in the army. Now in this second paragraph, as Franz walked past the mayor's office, he noticed a huge crowd at the notice board. The war with Prussia had begun two and a half years ago and since then all the bad news like losing the war, compulsory enrollment of people of Alsac and Lauren in the army by the enemy etc. had been communicated in, uh, to the people through that war. Franz kept on walking towards the school and thought in his mind that what news would have been put up on the board now. Let's move towards the next paragraph. I ran into the schoolyard all out of breath. Usually at the beginning of school, there was a great uproar which would be heard in the street Test opening and closing, lessons repeated aloud in unison. So let us write the meaning of the word uproar. Uproar means a lot of noise, confusion. or singing at the same time. So now here, France ran 
hurriedly towards the school, all out of breath. He describes the usual scene at the school in the morning. A lot of noise created by the moving of desks, children repeating their lessons, etc. So such noise could be heard every morning. I counted on all this noise to reach my bench unnoticed. But as it happened, that day everything was quite like a Sunday morning. Through the open window, I saw my comrades already in their places and Mr. Hamill walking back and forth with his terrible iron ruler in under his arm. I had to open the door and enter in the midst of that perfect silence filled with both shame and fear. Write the meanings counted on. Means depend upon. Comrades. Classmates. Mates. Now that day was unusual as there was no such sound coming out of the school and it seemed that the school was closed as it used to be on a Sunday morning. Franz had planned that he would reach the class without being noticed but that did not seem possible. Franz peeped inside his class and saw his classmates seated and Mr. Hamel, their teacher, walking in the class with the ruler made of iron placed under his arms. Franz feared a beating. Franz was ashamed of being late and feared a scolding as he had to enter the classroom in front of everyone. But Mr. Hamlet, who looked at me with no sign of anger, said very gently, Go at once to your seat, my little Franz. We were going to begin without you. Now Franz found it strange as Mr. Hamel did not say anything and on the contrary politely asked him to get to his seat as the class was about to begin without him. Next paragraph. I stopped over the bench and sat down at my desk. Not until then, when I had partly recovered from my fright, did I notice that our teacher had on his handsome blue coat, his plated ruff and the black embroidered breeches which wore on the days of inspection or distribution of prizes. Moreover, there was something solemn about the whole class. Fright means sudden feeling of fear or shock. Plated rough Trousers that 
go down to the knees. Pinch trousers which are up to the knees. Solemn means serious. Now Franz hurried to his seat. Their teacher had worn his best embroidered that day. The teacher normally wore it on occasions like inspection and distribution of prizes. Franz wondered if that day was a normal day. Then what could be the reason for Mr. Hamel to wear his special dress? So he did not understand why his teacher wore his best dress that day. Next paragraph. But what surprised me most was to see at the back of the room on the benches which were usually empty some men from the village sitting as silent as we were. Old Husser with the three cornered hat, the ex mayor, the ex postman, and others besides. Franz felt that the atmosphere in the school was unusual and serious. In addition, the last benches of the class were occupied by the senior village man, Husser, who was wearing his three cornered hat, the retired mayor, retired postman, etc. So these people were sitting at the back benches. They all seemed depressed and Hosser had bought an old spelling book with gnawed edges, which he held wide open on his knees with his great spectacles askew. Now here, the meaning of gnaw. Gnaw means torn and damaged. Ask you, not straight at an angle.